Good day everyone, my name is Mariam Jayas Nimaana and the recipe that we are making today is what we call crispy potato mocha and the ingredients that we need in making this are first, we have the potatoes, the egg, the chicken gravy, and palm oil. And since I already filled the potatoes, and what are we going to do here is to dice it. So let's start! It's already diced. So the next step that we're going to do is to boil it. Here's the water. So we're going to So since it's already boiling, we're going to boil it. Okay, butter pass. So, we will wait for 5 minutes. So, after 5 minutes, we will wait for 5 minutes. So, so yan. Papalamigin lang natin siya. Then, saka natin siya i-fork line. So, set it aside. At magagawa muna tayo ng ating pang coating. So, kapag hindi natin siya ang pinagay, magbabata muna tayo. Since we have our potato, we can add some chunky fry.
here it is. So, ipapadalong sa second side pa tayo para mas masarap siya at mas maluto. So, this is my final product. Crispy potato washes. Once again, my name is Maria Jaya Alti Maala. Thank you. My name is Marian Joy Astima Ala and the recipe that was assigned to me is buku salad. The ingredients in making buku salad are the following. First, we have the buku here. Cheese, powdered milk, condensed milk, all-purpose creamer, and the fruit cocktail. So, let's start! First thing that we need to do is to tanggalin natin yung sabaw dun sa fruit cocktail. So that's it. Then after that, ilalagay natin siya dito. Kapag samasamahin na natin lahat yung ha, mga ingredients natin dito. Next, Add na natin yung buko. Haluin lang natin. Tapos, ilalagay na natin yung ating condensed milk. Talo lang ulit. Pagkatapos, ilagay natin yung all-purpose creamer natin. Pagkatapos na, ang ating powdered milk. Gagayatin natin into cubes ang ating Eden. Yung cheese.
university. <laughs> After boiling, wrap each piece of tofu in the bacon. So we can use some toothpick for them to stay together. After wrapping the tofu in the bacon, it is ready for frying. Let's fry it. Heat the pan with oil and fry the tofu bacon. So here is our tofu bacon. So we will just sprinkle some pepper. Using a handheld electric mixer with a whisk attachment, whip the all-purpose cream on medium-high speed until soft medium peaks. Switch to low-medium speed and drizzle the condensed milk little at a time. Add more until you get the sweetness you want. Once you're satisfied, switch back to medium-high speed and beat until soft and stiff. Place a layer of graham crackers at the bottom of the container. Evenly spread the heaping cup of cream on top of the graham crackers, then put a layer of mangoes on top of that. Repeat by covering the mingles with graham cracker cookies. Be sure to cover the entire layer. Keep in the refrigerator for 4 hours or until the graham is moist with cream. And here is our final product, Mango Graham Cake. You know I want you 
So ito yung mga ingredients natin, mayonnaise, pita powers para sa bris, onion leaves, oil, and the main ingredients is the tinapak. So let's start. So bago tayo mag-start, kailangan natin mag-gagas ng kamay. Mr. Rezaib Gaita from Beauty and Episode 3 and today, for today's video we are going to bake a graham balls with sprinkles so let's start so first step is wash your hands with the ingredients and how to make a graham balls so let's start the ingredients for the graham balls is graham brush the marshmallow, the sprinkles, and the last one is the condensed milk. So the first step is put the graham crush in a bowl. And put the milk, the condensed milk. And mix together.
Kaya kailangan natin i-mix yung condensed milk sa yung graham crush para magmukhang dough. So, kung mapapansin natin, matigas na yung pinagalo ng graham crush tsaka contents milk. Ngayon na nga, i-bilogin natin sya tas ipa-flat. At kung mapapansin natin, mukha na talaga syang daw lalagay na natin yung graham. And, ay ang marshmallow. And the next step is the candy, yung bibilogin na ulit natin siya. At i-igay lang sa sprinkles. So, gano'n na ito next. So again, this is the final product for Graham Balls with Spinkles. So again, my name is Lorenzo Arcaita from BTPT and this is a trick. And thank you for watching. Oh. Step is we're going to be directing. Now I get 3 hours. <laughs> Thank you. Siyempre, meron tayo dito ang ingredients na chicken, and then vinegar, soy sauce, ketchup, black pepper, sugar, and then garlic and onion. Samasamahin natin ang mga ingredients. Um, garlic, onion, and then 
black pepper. And then, soy sauce. Vinegar and then ketchup. from BTPT Ed FSM3. So for today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to make a cheese or ham cheese apple wraps. So our ingredient is ham, apple, oil, cheese, and we will be using stick or toothpick. 
then we should use glass liquor when we are wrapping his ham and apple. So now I'm going to fry the ham. When the pan is already heated, we can put the oil. We are going to put the oil. Wait for 15 seconds. So we can put ham. Then let's fry it. Then we can fry it. Uh, we should fry it. Uh -huh. And then we can. Here's the finished product or after we fry it. So now let the ham cook first. No, that we can use now our gloves. everyone, I am Rosen Gonzalez from BTBT Ed FSM3. So for today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to make a chicken barbecue. So our ingredients are chicken, leg part, half cup of sugar, brown sugar, two tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, three cloves of garlic mince, one teaspoon of salt and pepper and one fourth cup of ketchup now that our ingredients are already introduced let us use first gloves okay after wearing gloves let's get chicken 
Now we can add garlic, salt and pepper. Then now we can add sugar. Add soy sauce. Add oyster sauce. Then ang last nating iya add ay ang ketchup. Ngayon haluin na natin sa pamamagitan ng ating kamay. Ngayon ay pwede na nating i-marinate ang ating manok. Ngayon, kubera natin ng plastic. So now, let's marinate at least 1 to 2 hours. So ngayon, pwede na nating ihawi ng ating manok. I already transferred the marinade mixture to a bowl. Heat up your grill and start grilling the chicken under the medium heat for at least 12 to 15 minutes per side or until the chicken is completely cooked. Do not forget to baste the chicken with the remaining marinated or marinade mixture. Note. Chicken takes a long time to cook. Grilling it in high heat will cause the outer part of the chicken to cook earlier, leaving the inside raw. Now, remove the grill and transfer to a serving plate. First, to always wash your hand before handling food. You make me wanna say, oh, oh. After washing your hand, you can start preparing your ingredients. But before preparing it, make sure all your ingredients are clean and sanitized. And also the tools you were using. And now, follow my steps on how to make a nachos. First, cut all your ingredients into small cubes, like this. And now, after cutting all your ingredients, magisa ng bawang sa margarine or butter at igisa ang karne. And to make it more tastier, put an oyster sauce and small amount of sugar. After igisa ang karne, Ngayon, gagawa naman ako ng dip. Sa paggawa ng nachos dip, ang kailangan lang natin ay ebab, 
cheese whisk at saka cheese at konting asukal. Pakulin lang natin siya hanggang lumapot siya ng pusa. And now I'm starting to plating my nachos. I start basing the chips. Then naglagay ako ng pipino, kamatis, sibuyas na puti at sibuyas na pula para mas malasa. Then nilagyan ko siya ng repolyo sa ibabaw at giniling. At saka niyadyadang ko siya ng cheese para mas magmukhang presentable at mas appealing. At kung gusto niyo din subukan yung ibang gifts, i-explain ko sa inyo kung paano gawan. Yung kulay white, may lace lang siya na may katas ng bawang at nilagyan ko ng asukal. Then yung kulay red, nagreta ko ng mga dalawang pirasong maliit na sili. Tapos ginisa ko siya sa margarine. Then nilagay, nilagyan ko siya ng oyster sauce at ketchup at konting asukal. And that's all mga katoyo. Sana magustuhan niyo to at itry niyo din sa bahay niyo. At eto na yung finish product ko. Thank you all for watching. So for the tart dough, we have white sugar, egg, salt, butter, and all-purpose flour. In making a tart dough, mix the white sugar and salt in the all-purpose flour. Then smush the butter in the all-purpose flour. Then add the egg and meat until it binds together. Then put it in the tart After molding it, put it in the oven for at least 20 minutes at in 100 degrees Celsius. For the yama, we have vanilla, condensed milk, egg yolk, butter, and nuts. Preheat the pan and melt the butter, then add the condensed milk and mix it until it binds together. Then add the vanilla, egg yolks, and nuts. Making you fall like that Break it down Ooh, when I look in the mirror I meant your heart into two I got the super star glow So ooh, Then mix it until you get the right thickness of the yummy spread